Hi everybody, Scott here with Jesse Rogers from a Historic Museum at Fort Missoula. And you're here to talk a little bit about uh, the 4th of July and all the uh, activities that are taking place at the fort location. Yes, so it's exciting. We had our hiatus last year and we're bringing back the 4th at the Fort celebration. This will be its 45th annual, been happening every year in Missoula except for last year and we're really excited to bring back this community tradition. And it is happening on the 4th at the Fort. Good thing we got the heat wave already taken care of for the week as we're transitioning into cooler weather because I did saw in the long range is that it's going to start dipping down, seeing lows into the 50s. That makes us happy because setting up for the event right now, we're all very hot. <laughs> yeah. Are you going to have some folks uh, doing some... Um, dress up and do some talk history talks and stuff like that so this year it is definitely a bit more low-key than our usual years just because we usually start planning in like january and this year we started planning about a month ago right because that's when everyone's <laughs> just like vaccine no more masks right we can do something yeah. let's go you can do something it's like oh now we have to plan to do something right and now you're at that point but you have always have a lot of great events um i know you've done lantern tours mm -hmm. through the uh and then that's usually in October, right? Uh, Lantern Tours is our holiday program in um, December, late November. We have our book sale in November, our fall harvest festival There's in September. So much going on. We have Forestry Day in uh, April. We have the 4th of July, the 4th of July, and then a multitude of other yeah. programs between. So it is exciting to get back to doing some of these community events, and it still will have a lot. So we do have hosted buildings, especially in the morning before it gets too hot. So uh, the event itself is from 10 to 4 p.m. Okay. And most all of our volunteers kind of went for the earlier show. So I would recommend everyone get there earlier, even though most things will be hosted in the afternoon. It might be a little bit more hit and miss. So we'll have hosted buildings, tours, old-fashioned kids games and activities, crafts, uh, miniature pony rides, oh, Teeny Winks is coming that's back, so that's always fun. Um, the steam engine will be up and running, so the steam sawmill will be operational and out there cutting logs and making lumber. The Western Montana Antique Engine Society Association will be out with uh, their antique engines and hit-miss engines running around. The Western Montana Exploration and Mining Association wow. will be out doing sapphire mining a for the kids. A lot of stuff. That's crazy. Because I know yeah. that uh, a lot of train enthusiasts, you know, the Drummond um, mm -hmm. uh, train station, right? Yep, it's the Drummond Drum Depot. That's the place, if you love trains, is that's the place to go to because you can actually link up with some of the guys that are there yes. who work on a lot of those model trains. And the Model Railroad Club will be there, so they'll have the back end of the depot open, which has the really cool oh, yeah. mountainous, all the... I don't know how many types of train, model train sets they have, but it's pretty cool. So yeah, they'll be cool there. Um, I know I'm forgetting a ton of There's stuff. There's so much going on. <laughs> it's, it's the 4th of the Fort, happening 10 a.m. to about 4 p.m. Yep. on the 4th of July. Yep, and it's a good way to kind of kick things off because 4th of July is always about nighttime and blowing stuff up and, well... You know, fireworks and whatnot. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try to keep the blowing stuff up at a minimum. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is coming from my old my old oh, days. Oh, yeah. The, the old sky back way in the day. But, yeah, there's always a bunch of things happening in Missoula, and uh, Fort Missoula is a great place to check it out. Yep, and it will have our Pepsi booth there. Draftworks Brewing has donated us a bunch of great brews. So there will be cold drinks, food trucks, um, the few things we won't have for sure this year that we'll bring back in 2022 is the live music, the big tent, so we recommend people bring your own shade or something like that so you can keep cool. We'll have some misters going. And uh, new this year is we are partnering with the Missoula County Health Department to have a COVID vaccine clinic out there. So if you have any questions or want to know more about the vaccination for COVID or just want to get yep. one while you're out, you, can, you can get a brew and then get a vaccine, mm -hmm. see? And you can hear from the experts themselves um, administering the vaccine. Exactly. So, it's a yeah. great time to get your questions asked. Honestly, this, is, this kind of event definitely helps reaffirm that Fort Missoula, Historic Museum Fort Missoula, is open for business. Go check it out. Yep. Iris Garden. Oh, don't miss the Iris Garden. Yeah. The blooms over the past couple of weeks have been gorgeous. Yeah. I was out taking photos. Um, Finally, also this year, it is free admission. So we knew this last year was kind of rough on our neighbors and friends, so we wanted to make sure there was no barriers to come and enjoy your community museum. So we are putting up some donation uh, access, so if people want to come in and give us a donation to help support this great event, 
we'd love it, but it is a no admission fee this year, and we just want to welcome the community back to their museum and come out and have a hoot. Yep. And if you missed this event, they have plenty of other events that are upcoming as well. Um, you can get a hold of them by calling them at their number and going to their email address. So we're going to pop that up for you guys right now, and if you want to tell them where people can find more information. We keep our Facebook really updated, so definitely check out our Facebook and Instagram, Historical Museum at Fort Missoula. Also, our website at www.fortmissoulamuseum.org, and you can find out all of our contact information there. Also, just Google us and give us a shout. Awesome. Well, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me.